Back in the day, the arcade ruled the world of video games. People flocked to these places of wonder. Unlike television and movies, the arcade offered the gamer an opportunity to beat the game and be top of the leaderboard. Nothing else came close. Many years later, you now have the chance to relive this and own an arcade in your home or office. Welcome to Quarter Arcades. I remember, I remember going to pubs when my dad was playing cricket uh, and, you know, finding a Pac-Man, you know, finding an Outrun, finding a Space Invaders, whatever it was. Um, that was my youth. Yeah, that's a great question. Why is it relevant? Why is it still relevant after, what, you know, 38 years? Because it represents youthfulness. It represents a, a more simpler age. Computer gaming was futuristic. It was like something from science fiction that had found its way into a pub, <laughs> bizarrely. Pac-Man's iconic. It's the thing that got most people into video games um, all those years ago. So I, I certainly remember that being the one that really drew me into starting playing arcade machines and, and got me into it. We wanted to build something that people could have in their homes, in their spaces, on their desks, um, and could relive the sights and sounds of all the stuff they went through in the 80s. Um, and that's why we made the machine as close as possible to the original. It was the first game that actually introduced a character that broke out of the video games. I mean, Pac-Man in the 80s was everywhere. It was on, I don't know, lunch boxes, cereals, TV shows, you name it. And it was the first character the first actual video game character. We worked very hard on actually replicating the uh, components that actually make an arcade stick up and have them installed in, in this machine. So it's, it's really like the attention to detail to get the gameplay right and make it feel right. I mean, to have the game running exactly the same is easy, but to have that feeling, the tactile feeling of that is very important to recreate the, the overall impression of playing an old game. I mean, we could have just made the whole thing out of plastic. We could have made lots of little details, just cheap plastic, and maybe no one would have noticed the difference. But we would have, <laughs> and we, we're gamers. We want a good product as well. We don't just want to dump something on people. I, I genuinely want this in my home. If I weren't working here, I would buy one for my house. So we want it to be a good quality product that if you are going to play it a lot, it's going to last. If you're going to display it, it's going to last. That's the idea. Working with Bandai Namco Entertainment is critical for us to get this right. We need to make sure that they're happy with what we're doing. We're trying to make the machine as authentic as possible. And we're really, really pleased with how that's come out. When Numskull brought in the prototype um, to, to show me, um, I was instantly kind of like, wow, I want one of those. And usually I don't want one of anything because most things I see are just, they're okay, but they don't make me get overly excited. But when I saw this, I thought how, how it was presented in terms of it uses the same quality, the same finish, the same materials as the original arcade cabinet. So obviously the original in the middle um, is, is a good kind of template to go by. Uh, the uh, quarter scale one is, it's almost identical. I mean, it's even got a kind of yellowish tinge to the, to the backlit marquee. You know, it's, it's like there's a lot of detail gone into it. The edging uh, is the right thickness in, in terms of relative scale. Having something like, you know, the original cabinet, which you can keep and cherish and love forever, I think there'll be an appeal to, to everybody. I mean, because it looks amazing. It's not something that's just a prop. Even if it's just a prop, I'd probably buy it. But the fact it's fully functional and it works. You want to relive the time spent in the arcades in the 80s um, so you can actually get the experience of like, the, the, the controller moves four ways, not eight ways. We've gone really, really far in on the authenticity. So yeah, it's to, it's to bring back those memories that you had of playing it. For me personally, it's as, as much uh, collectible as it is a playable item. I really like the idea of having a Pac-Man machine sitting in a glass cabinet on display for people to come and see when they come around my house. I love the idea that it's one of a series of different titles. So they're, they're, so far they've muted Galaxy and Galaga, which is possibly one of my favourite arcade machines of all time. Um, Miss Pac-Man. So you are kind of going to be able to open your own miniature arcade. You can see what the work that's been put into this in terms of its finish and the original work and that's what makes it, to me, more of a collector's item. <laughs>